Hey folks, it's Fernando doing a quick video here for the Mars Survivalist and this is going to be a wallet review. Here we have the wallet from the North Face. I don't think it has a specific name other than well, it came with this tag and it says Base Camp Wallet, okay? So it's the Base Camp Wallet from the North Face. Um, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with my current wallet. The one that you've seen probably in previous videos this is from Quicksilver. It has, you know, that pocket there for the coins and the slots for the cards are uh, vertical rather than horizontal and that means that they don't fall off when when shaking or bringing the wallet out of the pocket thing is as you know with all all wallets just degrade pretty fast especially the leather ones when I used to have those um, maybe a year or two and they start looking pretty bad here this is synthetic this is polyester which is tougher than nylon so it's a, a tough synthetic material but as you see it's already showing somewhere still like it but you know, eventually it will <laughs> go as like all others. Now, I'm looking for basically those same uh, characteristics, and especially for something that is tough, right? And that's what attracted me the most from this particular wallet, especially the, the Base Camp wallet. That's the same name, it's the same line that the Base Camp line. I have um, a messenger bag. Uh, from from the North Face as well from that same line from base camp line and it has these same materials and that was what I was hoping for this uh, PVC lining uh, fabric that they have and it's pretty tough all around so and they got it on on eBay on auction for like nine bucks so I just I think I, I placed like nine bucks and basically won it uh, with that here. So I, I'm going to be leaving a link below if I find it, which is not always the case. But if I do, I'm going to be leaving the link there below for you to check it out. So let's get to it. Let's first check the, the size, how big this thing is. I have my trusty Leatherman here as always. And this is going to be about three, four inches by five inches all right and I checked it with uh, with my jeans and fits in the back pocket quite well not as small this is a, a tad smaller not too much actually but yeah th that makes sense it's a little bit wider but deep uh, deep wise it just goes as deep as as a quicksilver one so uh, unless you have a, an unusually small pocket pair of jeans let alone with 511 tack light pants just falls disappears in there so size wise it's good it's very well built that's very clear and it has you know these snap buttons that just you know, it, I like it a little bit better than the the velcro system which starts showing where pretty fast and as I was saying you have those slots there vertically rather than horizontally so it stays there let's check if I have something to try that out maybe a card somewhere that I could actually use okay let me do that out of the camera so as you see there just you know, fits well, no problems there with any with any standard card, and you have slots for. Uh, let me check. That's gonna be one, two, and the third one is transparent for any kind of ID or driver's license or anything like that. Then you have this pocket here for your coins, and it ha comes with one of those little "Don't eat, do not eat" little bags for. And here I have what one, two, three. About five euros in coins and a little bit else. Yeah, and that it manages quite well, not getting too thick because of that. You have this uh, zippered uh, pocket here for your bills in case you want to keep some extra cash uh, hidden or out of the, the ordinary one that you use. And let's put it right there. I have this is usually what I have. Actually, this is what I had just right now in my wallet. No. I mean, nothing set up or anything. This is, honest to God, what I had right now in my wallet. This is uh, 5,200 euros. And this was like this in the part, in the outside part for the, you know, cash for normal use. And they had these on this inside pocket for emergency. This is so it's 
two, three, four, five. A hundred bucks, a hundred euros in smaller bills for emergencies and so. Okay, and with those, of course, this isn't. This hasn't got any any cards. Let's just put those two in there, so as to make it more realistic. And I'll just throw them in there just so as to add that thickness. But yeah, sorry, I'm not gonna be showing that. Here. So there we go, and this is basically how pretty much full it's actually looking. Yeah, I, I guess it's it's thicker, you know. Uh, not bad. I mean, let me try it right now. Well, right now I'm wearing my 511 Tac Light shorts, which have those same huge pockets, so it's definitely not not an issue whatsoever. But having tried it before in, in the jeans as well, not a problem either. So, yeah, I think it's a, definitely a viable option, especially, you know what, if you need um, a wallet that it's, you know, extra tough, something that's very, uh, you know, very strong, something that you're going to be beating the living crap out of, uh, you know, not just, you're not just looking for a, a tactical wallet or one of those things, which I still haven't tried, you know, many of you guys have suggested in the past some of the Maxpedition ones or some of the, from the tactical uh, manufacturers, haven't tried those yet, um, I don't know why, I mean, Maybe they don't appeal to me as much. I, I have to try one eventually. These are very well made. I mean, the stitches in some places, for example, here, this isn't as even. I noticed that here as well. But uh, it's not anything that's gonna be affecting the durability in any, in any case, so no big deal there. And again, I like the, the snapping thing. It's not a, as childish as, as a, the Velcro stuff. I, I suppose that like anything else when you start using it and months and eventually years pass by especially the, these uh, snap buttons here will start showing through maybe wear here and here but uh, uh, know, knowing how tough this specific this specific line of the north is, it's gonna be taking quite some time you have a, a little D ring here as well for maybe a, a spare key that's something that my old wallet doesn't have I don't see myself using that much, but maybe you know what? Some if you have a, a specific key, maybe for a safe or for your uh, your gun safe or something like that, uh, maybe you could keep a spare one there. You know, as long as it's as it's something small, you could have something there. I guess you could al also attach it to um, a chain to your uh, your pants as well, if that's the kind of thing that you do. So yeah, definitely a, a big wallet, but not too big so that it's uncomfortable or unwieldable <laughs> in terms of being in your jeans. So that's gonna be all for, for now, guys. Take care, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up if you did like it. Leave me your comments if you have anything you know, you'd like to say, share. See you in our next video, have a great day.